How you doing, Virgo? This is Nicola. So this will be for the week of April the 26th through May the 2nd, 2020. Let's see what guidance we have for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, April 26th through May the 2nd, 2020. What guidance do we have for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, that's way too many, so we're going to try this again. What guidance do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? And one card. And one card of guidance. Godly. So we're going to take the two that turned up because they ain't going to let me be. Okay. So the first card we have is Invitation to Connect. Let me try to turn this um, brightness down. So maybe you guys can see. There we go. Hey Pebbles, I didn't know you was right there, mama baby. There we go, sweet sugar. All right, she was pulling the, the uh, I was wondering why this was getting pulled. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we have here for invitation to connect. Love exists throughout our universe. Many loving beings that do not belong to the human race exist in worlds beyond the earthly realm. Among, the, among these are those who are aware of the spiritual plight of humanity and are willing and able to help us move forward. Unlike those who choose, I'm sorry, unlike those who close their minds because they fear the unknown, you have an open mind and an open receptive heart. Beings from other worlds recognize you as a receptive channel for their unconditionally loving assistance in this world. You will both benefit from this individually and help the planet. So you are being offered an invitation to connect. If I was you, I'd take it, okay? Alright, so the next card we have is the Key of Light. I'm not going to sing it. I said, okay. Archangel Michael loves you unconditionally and serves your soul journey. He brings you a spiritual gift now, the key of light. This key allows you to open any door, clear away any obstruction, and free yourself from any prison or enslavement, physical, emotional, or psychological. There is no need for you to feel trapped or locked out of a situation you want to get into. You now hold within your hands a divine key that will assist you in many ways. All right. So let's see what messages we have. We're using the psychic tarot this week whoa let's see what messages or guidance do we have this is for april the 26th through may the 2nd 2020 this is for virgo sun rising and venus what messages what guidance do we have for virgo sun rising and venus this is for april the 26th april the 27th april the 28th april the 29th april the 30th May the 1st and May the 2nd, 2020. What messages, what guidance do we have? For Virgo, Sun, Rising, and Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have? For Virgo, Sun, Rising, and Venus. This is for April the 26th through May the 2nd, 2020. Messages, guidance, for Virgo, Sun, Rising, and Venus. Alright, I've seen a lot of pentacles under there, so I feel like for a lot of you guys, you could be either gaining some independence or you're harvesting some materials or harvesting something that you've set some seeds in previously i feel like your hard work is paying off here all right so let's see what messages we have sunday we have the full energy here new beginning so you could have a brand new beginning here a new opportunity that is beginning for you monday we have the heart shocker here i feel like you need to open up to this new found abundance okay Tuesday, we got Disruption Tower. So there's a significant change in your life this week. Universe here. I feel like um, whatever cycles you've been dealing with previously are over. You got a lot of major energy here. Four of Wands here. I feel like you're. this is an achievement. Some of you guys are about to achieve something. Or you've already achieved something. And I feel like you're about to see physical proof or physical evidence. Friday we have, sorry, Friday we have the hangman here. So I feel like you could be in suspension, um, maybe needing to see something from a different perspective. Saturday here, eight of pentacles. I feel like you're in a space of moving forward in a positive direction. There is, I do feel like for a lot of you guys, your life is about to change. A cycle is about to complete. You have an opportunity to have a new beginning in your life. I feel like divine timing is playing out for you this week. All right. 
So let's see here. We have new beginnings here for Sunday. So I do feel like for a lot of you guys, you're dealing with a new beginning, an unexpected opportunity. Why is this full energy here? You could be needing to kind of walk in faith here. Some of you guys are, it looks like you're on top of the world here. Why is this new beginning here? All right. So we have the Five of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, and the Seven of Cups. So I do feel like for a lot of you guys, you could be dealing with some regrets. Maybe needing to change the way you feel. Change. There's a change in the foundation here. Wheel of Fortune here with the Seven of Cups. I feel like some of you guys, you're confused. There's an unexpected opportunity here. But you're confused about what to do. Um, some of you guys are confused because you're still living... In a past situation, you're needing to change the way you feel and really take this new beginning for what it is. With the that's why I think I said you need to open up your heart. A lot of you guys could be closed off. Um, could be in a space of just trying to invest, 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 and not realizing that your investments are coming into fruition. So we have the heart chakra here. Why is this heart chakra here for us Monday? We have the six of pentacles here. I mean the six of cups here. The page of cups. With the Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you may feel as though it's time for you to really move toward a balanced commitment here. Heart chakra here. I feel or you're moving toward a balanced commitment and you're really needing to kind of open yourself up. I feel like Page of Swords under here. For a lot of you guys, you're dealing with some delays, um, maybe even changes to plans. Some of you guys feel like you need to leave the past in the past in order for you to really move forward. I do feel like for a lot of you guys, this may have to do with like money or this may have to do with something that will bring money or stability maybe a commitment maybe a new job but whatever it is you need to move away from past type of energy or past thinking disruption here tower so i do feel like there is going to be a change a full change within your life why is disruption here why is disruption here why is disruption here we have the Hermit, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Four. So this is you. I feel like you're at a crossroads here. Knight of Pentacles here. I feel like you're kind of taking your time, moving forward. Magician in reverse. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, actually it's not in reverse. My apologies. With Magician here, I feel like you're lacking confidence. You have all the tools that are necessary. I feel like you've manifested some new things. But I feel like you're needing to kind of just move, make the decision to really move into your own dominion, especially with this Two of Cups here. This is about you making a, a good decision to move forward. Two, two, two. Some of you guys, I feel like you're going to have a, a decision out of nowhere. All of a sudden, you're going to have to make a decision about something. All right. So we have the universe here. That means that there's a cycle that is completing. Moon here, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. I feel like the cycle here, some of you guys, you could be dealing with multiple people, Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, that's two people. Um, moon card here, I feel like for a lot of you guys, you could be facing your fears in regards to something, or it could be a secret that could be ending. Hangman here with the Six of Pentacles, I feel like you're needing to change your perspective and see that something is balancing out. I feel like there's a cycle that's completing. For a lot of you guys, if this is not dealing with multiple people this is you that is in a space of really needing to be nurturing and compassionate to yourself while this cycle ends i feel like for a lot of you guys you could have some fear of something closing out but i feel like you've achieved what is necessary for you to be able to move forward and i do feel like you need to again change your perspective four of wands with the strength card here ace of pentacles and the nine of cups this is about moving toward a life of happiness for a lot of you guys you could have been in a lot of codependency or dealing with a lot of fears death here with the um devil card here tower i feel like this is about releasing those negative or fear-based thoughts and allowing this real that you got a real transformation that is happening um a real change that is happening in your life i do feel like divine timing is taking effect or divine timing is in play is at play so for a lot of you guys you just need to change your perspective and see that what you the work that you've put in you're harvesting like it's like you 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 going outside and you picking the peas that's done and you're about to you know stock them up for the winter so to make sure that you're you know satisfied or that you have what you need for the years to come i do feel like for a lot of you guys are really it's like you reap what you sow and you've sown some good seeds here so sacrifice here lovers ace of swords tower i feel like there's going to be some clarity toward a decision out of nowhere 
Um, Ten of Swords here. I feel like Ace of Wands, Ten of Swords. You need to be in a space of embracing the end of a difficult situation. Some of you guys are going to have a decision to make. Lovers card a decision, Ace of Swords. I feel like you have cl clarity. Or all of a sudden you got a new opportunity that's coming in. I feel like it's going to make you happy. This is a blessing because you see this rainbow here. But I feel like for a lot of you guys, right now you're in a space of not seeing it as that. Whatever this is, it's going to put you in a space of being able to actually work on building something um, moving forward. That's the Eight of Compass. So this is a reward for the for the hard work that you've put in. Queen of Wands here. Knight of Wands with the Hangman. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you need to be confident moving forward change your perspective i feel like for a lot of you guys you're in a space of dealing with some unstableness um investing into an unstable situation i feel like now you're making positive decisions or positive movements um going forward really working on buildings your work the eight of pentacles works to build nine of pentacles so you're making positive moves movement forward to have this material harvest to reap what you have sown i kind of like this reading y'all all right. All right. So we have, let's see, what guidance do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus moving forward? What messages, what guidance do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus moving forward? What messages, what guidance do we have for Virgo? We got emergence. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. So I feel like with emergence, solitude, and validity. I feel like for some of you guys, I told you there's a blessing here. Some of you guys have reached the end of the rainbow. You're about to grab hold of your pot of gold. It's on the phone. You're about to grab hold to your pot of gold. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, either you're suddenly becoming single or you're suddenly getting away from being um, alone and you're really moving into a prosperous new type of connection or a new type of existence. But this is happening very quickly. Okay. So this is all I have. Until next time.